if that was a black coach who hit a blonde haired, blue eyed, 15 year old basketball girl. Up in the studio, getting blow to the truest shit I ever spoke. 21 guns salute. Video from Germantown shows a coach taking a swing at a 15 year old girl, a basketball player. Coach swings at a 15 year old girl's basketball player. The school surveillance video shows the player coming from behind the coach. Watch her right arm, then she grabs him. Was this a racist incident? It didn't appear to be racial until the end. Daryl Bates is the coach of the player he says got punched. He says the other coach should have been arrested. If that was a black coach who hit a blonde haired, blue eyed, 15 year old basketball girl in the mouth, that coach is not leaving that gym, non handcuffs. Well, Mr. Daryl Bates, guess what? This wasn't a blonde haired, blue eyed white girl. To be honest with you, and this may sound terrible, I thought this was a boy. She looked like a boy. She could be a tomboy. But her actions were just like an aggressive boy or even a man. And see, again, this may sound bad. Once you hit a certain age, especially when you know better, and you decide to do grown up stuff, you should probably get a grown up result, which she did. See, but what pissed me off the most was Mr. Daryl Bates. See, Mr. Daryl Bates was her coach. So, let's be honest, it would probably be a biased opinion when you ask him his thoughts on the situation. But, as a coach and as a man, and I'm pretty sure he has kids, one thing we have to pass down to our children, boys and girls, is to keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. See, when you keep your hands to yourself, you don't get in results like this. And see, this is actually counterproductive when it comes to the youth. Because when you don't hold the person accountable and you tell them that they're the victim, guess what? They're not going to see anything wrong with what they did. And if you don't see anything wrong with what you did, why would you feel the need to stop doing it? And see, let's be honest. In many cases, when it comes to us as black people, especially when they don't have fathers in the house. There isn't any respect. Well, except for their mother. But you don't know how to respect authority. If you can't expect respect authority, you damn sure ain't gonna respect your peers. And the only thing that will get many of us to learn is when it's gonna be too late and someone put a bullet in us and take our lives. And then when you're gone, you're gone. Now, from watching the video, it seems as if all the referee and the coach wanted was for the two gentlemen, and I also use that term loosely. All he wanted was for the gentlemen to leave because they were being disrupted. But for some odd reason, we as black people feel like we shouldn't be held to held accountable or treated the same as any other race, even though we constantly talk about how we want equality. Well, if you want equality, you get treated just like everyone else. No one gets a pass. But I'm pretty sure the referee and the coach requested that they stop being disruptive. Because let's be real, putting a person out isn't the first option. Now, most of us probably want to believe that that was the first option and nothing was said. But normally, that's not the first option. So, you do what you want to do, and you get that end result. But enough of that. What I want to focus on mainly is Mr. Daryl Bates. And again, Mr. Daryl Bates is the coach of the young lady who wanted to get down with the dudes. And what I want to point out, I want you to watch his actions, how he decided to intervene. Check it out. small clips you'll probably notice that Mr. Daryl Bates for the most part was grabbing on the white men the first time he grabbed a white man he almost caused him to get his head knocked off 
Not the literal sense, but his head was wide open. Luckily, he most likely knows how to fight, and he was able to duck it while being pulled by the opposing coach. Now, the last clip, the same guy that he pulled the first time is laying on the ground while three, <laughs> while three people are stomping him and punching him in the head. The opposing coach, Mr. Daryl Bates, watches it for a little bit before he breaks it up. Now, instead of focusing on your player and the family members of your player, you decide to focus on the one adult white male and the teen white male. Now, while one is being stomped, stomped out, in the fetal position getting punched, you decide to pull the person that was there to assist him, even though you didn't assist him. So after watching this clip, he says the other coach should have been arrested. If that was a black coach who hit a blonde haired, blue eyed, 15 year old basketball girl in the mouth, that coach is not leaving that gym, not handcuffs. Now see, my thing is whenever a person Whenever their first start is to pull the race car, <clears throat> it makes me question everything that transpired. And after I heard him say this or watched him say this, it made me really think about what his true intentions were. Did he want to see the white guys get beat up? Beat up? Did he want to see harm come to him? Because once you have to play that card, then you have to ask yourself, did you give the maximum amount of effort? And in my humble opinion, I don't believe he gave the maximum amount of effort. And the reason why I say this is because you watch the video, even though you can't hear it, you can tell that there's a heated exchange going back and forth from these individuals. You can't tell me that a person is standing less than five feet or six feet away didn't hear the heated exchange. And see, when you hear a heated exchange in this type of setting, as a coach, what should you do? If the other coach is one of the guys that's in the heated exchange. As the other coach, Daryl Bates, you were supposed to intervene before someone got punched in the face. So we have to point the finger and hold him, blame him also for what transpired. So Mr. Bates, Coach Bates, Let's not act like we're completely innocent in this situation. See, when you have the ability to stop something, you should do it, especially in a dumb situation like this. So he failed miserably in this situation. He failed miserably. So let's point that finger right back at him. And let's stop, let's stop giving our daughters or other women passes for wanting to do manly stuff. You put your hands on a man or a male, don't be surprised when they decide to put their hands on you. Oh yeah, and before I go, when he swung on the girl, his back was turned. Turned around with real quick and hit her. He didn't know whether it was a dude or a girl or not. But I'm pretty sure when he turned around and saw her, he pretty still probably thought it was a dude. 50 DM slash Devil's Advocate till next time I'm out. Up in the studio, getting blow to the truest shit I ever spoke. 21 guns salute.